socket has been extracted and the trim line has been cleaned up and holes deburred, it's time for installation of the lock. Since the EVLS lock is press fit, sealed down into the distal one of the socket, it may be necessary to use a little bit of lubricant. What we suggest is water soluble lubricant. You don't need a whole lot. Just rub it along the outside edge of the lock. A lock should be installed in a typical manner. If you've got a, if you've got, had good vacuum and you've got a good quality fabricated socket, the lock should be fairly snug and press fit down in the distal end of the socket. The next step is to install the manifold and the distal connector. Which brings up a very important point. When you are installing the bolts into your EVLS system, the bolts that are going into the distal end of the socket, such as you see from the bottom of the manifold to the end of the bolt, cannot be any longer than 24 millimeters, but they have to be at least 18 millimeters. So it's a good idea to do a quick check of your bolt length. And we have 19 millimeters here, so we're okay. If you use too long of bolts, they thread in through the distal end of the lock and push the urethane cushion up, and it could affect the sealability of your socket. Once the bolts are installed, it's recommended that you tighten each of the uh, bolts in the four hole pattern to 10 newton meters using a torque wrench. Once that's been accomplished, then the socket is ready to be tested under vacuum and your EVLS fitting can begin.